so weird. So weird. So damn weird. All right. All right. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of a late start today. A little bit of a late start today. Not super happy about that. I may or may not have overslept. I thought I turned my alarm clock on. I didn't. I woke up a lot later than I was supposed to. Not great. <laughs> <coughs> Whoops. Whoops. But hey, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. We're gonna game. We're gonna game. We're gaming tonight. We're gaming today. We're gaming tonight. We're gaming. Um, what did we do the other day? We played through Castle of Illusion, World of Illusion, Mickey Mania, and The Great Circus Mystery. We played through four games on, on Saturday, and we beat all four of them. They were all fun to their own degree. I think World of Illusion was probably my favorite out of everything that we played. All the other ones had, like one or two things that I would say, like, that kind of drew them back. Mickey Mania was brutal. Brutal. If I had realized that you only got one continue, we would have probably just played on easy because you had infinite continues. That game is way harder than I expected it to be. It's a cool game. It's a beautiful looking game. It's a trial by error style game where, yeah, you're gonna die a lot until you figure out what it is that, you know, the game wants of you. But it's super punishing. Starting with easy and then learning the game and then getting to like normal would be much better. Would be much better. Now, uh, Castle of Illusion's pretty rough too. I mean, that one, that one wasn't like an easy breezy thing either. That one was pretty rough too. The first one, you only get two continues in that one, so you gotta kind of like learn that game as well. Whereas World of Illusion is super forgiving, and so is the great, uh, the great circus mystery. Both of those are super. Forgiving. Cool games, though. Cool games. Now we're gonna play Quack Shop. I don't, I don't know what we're about to get into with Quack Shop. I can tell you off the jump that the first music I heard in the game made my brain go, mm-mm. No. <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. That's <laughs> so bad. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't really know Quack Shot. I've never played it before. It looks nice. It's it looks that kind of looks like uh, Ducktales, doesn't it? But instead of because I mean there's Huey, Dewey, and Louie, but you got you got Donald, Uncle Donald. There's no audio. Did I break it? Sound test. Okay, so we're definitely changing the controls. I want jump in the middle. They give you like every iteration except for jump in A or shoot and then C is dash. Okay. I thought I thought the music I thought the game broke. I want jump in the middle so I can hit all the buttons. Jump and shoot, dash and shoot. That's cool. That's cool. As long as I can do that, I'm happy. One day, Donald came across an old book in Uncle Scrooge's study. Ooh. So it is like DuckTales. Oh, I have to advance it. The title of the book was King Garusia's Great Duck Treasure. According to the book, Garusia was once the leader of a great duck kingdom. Just before he died, King Garusia hid his most prized possession in a secret location. Tucked inside the book, Donald found a map showing clues to where the treasure could be found. That's so convenient. Is this how Uncle Scrooge got all of his money? How did Uncle Scrooge get all of his, like, billions, his his gold coin power? 
Like, how did he acquire all that wealth? Is it capitalism? It's capitalism. He's a, he's a, he's a feather tycoon. Sells duck bones. Duck lard. Wow! Donald exclaimed. If I could find a treasure like this, I'd be richer than Uncle Scrooge. I can't do it. I don't understand how people talk like Donald. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. But one of Pete's gang had been spying through the window and saw everything. Donald took the map with him as he started to head home. Pete's gang chased after Donald and the treasure map. Donald could see an open manhole ahead and jumped over it. Pete's gang all fell in. Wow! Donald took Huey, Dewey, and Louie, he abducted his nephews, to the great, to the plane. Donald took Huey, Dewey, and Louie to the plane to take off on the great treasure hunt. But just then, Daisy appeared. Who's, who are Huey, Dewey, and Louie's mom? I kind of thought that, 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 like, Daisy and Donald were the parents, but they're not. There's some other, like, unspoken relative like an absentee parent? Who 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 is this absentee parent? Like Donald's got a brother or a sister, right? And I mean if he's the uncle, then he's got a sister. Yeah? He's got a sister. Donald has a sister. I mean he could be it could be a brother. It could be a brother. But they've got two absentee parents. Donald, where are you going? You were supposed to be at my house for dinner an hour ago. All that cab. Daisy, something very important's come up. I'm gonna find something special for you and I want it to be a surprise. Donald, wait, come back. Donald! Oh, no. Donald and his nephews took off in their plane, leaving a furious Daisy behind. Moments later, Pete's gang flew over them in a plane of their own. Oh, Duckbird, Ducktales, Ducktales. Talk about Ducktales, Ducktales. I could go to Duckburg, Mexico, or Transylvania. What happened to the United States? <laughs> Why does it have a huge hole? <laughs> what? All right, let's go to Duckburg. Let's go back to where we were, where we took off from. All right, B jumps, A shoots, right? And C, okay, that's walk. <laughs> oh man, that's freaking adorable. I hate the music. What? What? So do I not do anything to it? Oh shit. Dude dropped a chicken. You can't kill them. What? Uh, okay. I don't know what's happening. You won't be able to continue much farther without the right tools to climb high walls. So, what? I got a fucking plunger. <laughs> it's not good enough. Okay, so. 
can't communicate with the airplane from here. Can I communicate with the airplane from here? So, we got like a Metroidvania thing going on here? Pseudo Metroidvania thing? Yeah, whatever, man. You had ice cream. Fuck you, bird. Well, his is weird as hell. Is this going to kill me? Probably. I'm, I'm giving him the old shakedown. What? I got hurt the last time I tried that, but this time it worked. Thanks, Arbitrary Game. This is weird. <laughs> this is so strange. Obviously, they don't want you killing anything in the DuckTales game. I just want the enemies to go away. I don't want to murder them. I just want them to leave me alone. That guy was going to punch me. That, that turtle was going to punch me. Oh, my bad. Okay. Freezing the animals. And the bird drops bees. I could have health, but the stupid turkey disappeared. Oh. Donald, don't you know that you need a special key to go into these ruins? The team of explorers returned to Duckburg with it. It's called the Hero Key. Thank you, sweet senorita. seen the hero key? I've got it right here. Are you a hero? I'm trying to be a hero. Then take it, and good luck. Donald takes the hero key as the dumbest exchange of dialogue. You're really gonna make me do that? Okay. You can open this door if you use the hero key. It's two ducks licking a pole. Ew. That's lewd. Donald used it. I'm taking it that fire hurts. Okay, the fire in the background doesn't hurt. There's fire in the foreground. Um, up. I already hit up and it didn't do anything. Then I hit a hit up again and then it did some Weird. Oh. It's a boo ring. Whatever. 
Ball chicken. Why would that hurt you? Yeah, because that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Never, man. kind of cool. Can we? Yeah, there we go. I see the money. I want the money. Donald wants to be rich. I want to be rich. It looks nice, but this music... Okay, I got corn. Why do I have corn? Because Donald is a duck and ducks eat corn. Ow! Oh god! Memory unlocked. What's up, Musereal? How you doing, homie? How goes... Oh. Too hot. How goes your Monday? I hope you're doing well today. Don't hurt Donald! It's like I'm right there. Oh! Boom, boom, boom. Small Musereal played this game so much. Well, we just started, but I can already tell you whatever's happening with the music is awful. <laughs> Did Small Musereal enjoy this game a lot? It seems okay so far. Hey, it's Goofy. Gosh, Donald. It's swell to see you. I can't do Donald's voice. We haven't been doing voices, but then I saw Goofy and I was like, obviously I have to do Goofy's voice because it's Goofy. What? Goofy, what are you doing here? That's that's how Donald sounds, because I can't do a Donald. Oh, just looking around. I found this strange number. I don't know what to do with it. Do you want it? You bet! I also found this funny plunger thing. Maybe if you shoot it at walls and things, it'll help you reach high places. And Gyro and Duckburg is looking for you. Donald takes the note and Red Plunger. Is that what we did here? Is that everything that I, do I have to go back out? I think I liked it. It was pretty hard for you back then. But you did beat it eventually. Nice. Do you, they want me to go back out? This is fucking stupid. Just call the airplane into the pyramid. Can I just die to leave? Ow. That, that would be so much better if I could die to leave. It's kind of like a thwomp, but not a thwomp. 
Uh, I played through, I mean, challenges are great. Did you ever play Mickey Mania as a kid? Or as an adult? I wouldn't die to leave. I mean, I would. It sounds so much better. Start over. What if it does start you over? No, I did not play Mickey Mania. Good, don't. <laughs> Holy moly. Never really filed the Mickey characters or their games. You just had this one in particular. Neither did I. When I saw these games as a kid, I always thought that they, you know, like the Disney characters were extremely, you know, like they were meant for babies. And even though I was a baby, I was like, yeah, I want to play stupid Mickey baby games. So I never played them either. And apparently there's some really good ones. No touching. I did it. Huzzah. Yeah, I mean, it's Mickey Mouse. You look, Mickey Mouse has this stereotype that he's for children. He's a cutesy kid's thing. So I always thought, yeah, he's He's for babies, so I'm not gonna play a baby game. It was like Barney. Like, I'm not gonna play Barney or Sesame Street or Disney. That shit's all for babies. Except I did love DuckTales. A DuckTales, a DuckTales. When there's DuckTales and more DuckTales, it's DuckTales, DuckTales. That's a good one. That's a good one. What? <laughs> no! No! Hell yeah, turkey. Okay. It cowered it away. This music is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Why did that fall down? Make that. Alright, what if we just ow did it here? This is totally a good secret, right? I could have just climbed over the whole thing. I'm taking all this like damage unnecessarily. Wow, good secret. <laughs> I know. At least I got corn. At least I got corn, right? Just drop. What are these noises? Merp. 
No. No, no secret. Those things used to scare you? This seems very dangerous. Oh. Okay. Donald! Just the- f Uh, how- how to- Donald! Just the fellow I wanted to see! Would you please try out my newest invention? It's bubblegum ammo. When you use it in your shooter, it makes exploding bubbles. I'll give you more whenever you run out. Oh, thank you, Gyro! Donald takes the bubblegum ammo. Do I have to go back? Why are they shooting things they aren't even alive? Um, exactly. <laughs> Science? They're gonna be like an easy way back? What's up, KO Gortra? How you doing, homie? Welcome on in. Happy Monday. Oh, they gave me like the easy way back. Kinda scary. If I were a kid, I probably would have been angry at them. It would have made me angry. This is the kind of thing that would have made me angry. But I think justifiably angry. That was a hole, not a secret. Now we found out what happens when Donald dies. <laughs> We now know what happens when Donald dies. I thought maybe there was a secret down there. There was no secret. Give me corn. Ow. We're gonna find the secret. That's the way to go. We don't go all the way back. We do that. And we get chicken. Get We get dirty turtle chicken. Why would I want to eat food out of that turtle's mouth? Spent several tries fighting the fallen star beast in the Celia Crystal Tunnel. That one's tough, man. You could do it, but that one's tough. You were only level 27. Dude, when I killed it, I was way under. I was way further. I was like level 17 or 18 when we fought that thing. If I can do it there, you could do it at level 27. Yes, I got teleported in there. Yeah. Sure, why not? The basin in Limgrave. I don't remember where the teleporter was, but yeah, why not? Secret! A duckbird. A duckbird. Okay, off to Transylvania. I don't know. I don't remember. That was like three weeks ago, man. <laughs> It was so long ago. What? You just let them go. What's up, Merc? How you doing, homie? Happy, happy Monday. How's life treating you? Yo, he gave me a one-up. All right, that guy was... I hate you. I'm gonna say that guy's all right with me, but he can suck it. So, one-ups are random drops from enemies? This is very spooky. I really like the graphics in this. We just let him go away. Wow! This is the famous Dracula's castle! 
a lot of shit since the last time you've been on Twitch. How's it been for you? It's been going well. We just finished up Elden Ring um, on Friday. Which was a lot of fun. Which was a lot of fun. And now we're playing a bunch of Disney Genesis games. Elden Bong. Blow up the wall with the bubblegum ammo. Blow up the wall with the bubblegum ammo. Oh, why in the world did you come to such a scary place? I'm looking for King Garusia's treasure. King Garusia's treasure? Now I remember, Count Dracula has a treasure map in his castle. But I don't think Dracula will give up the treasure map too easily. Who would put Dracula in a... in a DuckTales game? You played it with co-op, it was great to be honest. Starpy has won the war. Starpy, I guess, won the war. Starpy's a war winner. I did fight Dragon Lord. Uh, Placid sucks ass. Um, I uh, I had chat just like fill me in on shit that I would have missed. So partially on Friday and more on Saturday, like we went through and like found like a ton of things that I I, I didn't know about like. The, um, Nate suggested, he was like, when you were in, uh, Azula, Limgrave, whatever that place was called, Pharaoh Missoula, right? Um, he was like, did you fight, uh, did you fight, how many bosses did you fight there? And I was like, I don't know, man, three? I, I don't know. He was like, I was like, just, just tell me what you're asking. And he was like, did you fight a two-headed dragon? And I was like, no. And I went, all right, let's go find the two-headed dragon. So I found the two-headed dragon. It was actually something that I had said when we were going through Fair Missoula. I saw that platform all the way at the bottom and I went, that's got to be something. And then I forgot about it. Then we went back there. I saw it again and I went, that's got to be where it is. And that's exactly where it is. But I didn't know that you had to like lie down to start the fight. <laughs> so I was, I was, I was like, I don't know what we do here. Is this a dead end? This is stupid. There's got to be something around here. What the hell do you do? I was like, do we jump in the tornado? So I was that close. I was literally preparing to jump in the tornado because there were like blood stains and stuff. And I was like, well, people are doing dumb shit down here. Something's got to happen. And I'm not reading any of the messages. I refuse to do that. And, and I saw, as soon as I walked over, I saw something like just flash because I was getting ready to jump. I saw it flash, lay down here, and I went, oh, oh okay. Because if I was in any other place, if I hadn't walked over that, I would have jumped off into the tornado and been like, I don't know what you do. You like the dragon? You missed it the first time, too. Seems so obscure. I saw the place where you were supposed to go, and then I forgot to try to get there. You still preferred Bloodborne more, to be honest, because of the environment and aspect? I think... Even though we haven't been away from Elden Ring that long, I think I prefer the non-open worldness of the games. There's so much of Elden Ring that goes absolutely nowhere. There's a lot in Dark Souls games in Elden Ring and, and, and Bloodborne and Sekiro that don't go anywhere either. But I like the more curated, singular areas. I think things also got a little repetitive. It's like, go to another castle, go to another castle, go to another castle. I think that's why I like the underground so much better than everything else, because it reminded me a lot more of classic Dark Souls, rather than, like, the big giant overworld. Like, the, 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 the dungeon area of the underground reminded me more of Dark Souls, and I think that's why I like that so much better. No, I didn't. So what happened with Bach? Apparently, apparently what you're supposed to do is you're, well, I don't know. You can give him a larval tier and there's like a couple of other things that you can do with him. Someone said that you were supposed to yell at him, you're beautiful. And then you're going to go down like, a, like another story path or something like that. And I did that, but I think we fucked up somehow. Because remember, I was just like mocking him. <laughs> I was standing in front of him laughing at him and I think I think I fucked something up there I didn't know what I was doing I didn't know that that was a thing and apparently you can do that 
and, and like tell him you're beautiful. Apparently, if you give him a larval tear, he turns into human. And then you never interact with him again. I don't know what happens. The only thing that we did was I talked to him. He had another dialogue option. Then he was dead in front of Renala. He was dead in front of Renala. So whatever we did, I did something wrong. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. We got, we got, we got, we got a different outcome. We got the sad outcome. Bach was just dead outside of Renala's, like, little room. I don't know what else to call it. Because I went looking for him. Because he disappeared. Like, I talked to him, and then he disappeared. And I went, well, he wanted to go talk to Renala. So I went to go to Renala's place. And I went out, and I was like, well, he's not in here. And then we left outside, and right in front of her keep, he was just, like, sitting there with ass and air dead. And I was like, oh. I didn't give him a tear. I did not give him a tear. I didn't give him a tear. I don't know what happened. Maybe if you wait too long, maybe that's the thing. Maybe if you wait too long, it triggers like another thing. He died for me too, so. Going for Dex Arcane this time around now. Some bleed and bow action. Nice, dude. Yeah, well, maybe there's something else. I don't I don't actually know, so maybe there's, there's something else that you can do with Bach. on the bubble? Uh, am I fucked down here? Can we, like, make that respawn? I think I needed to go... Oh, okay. Yep. I think we needed to go up. I don't even have, like, a reflection. Oh, and we got ice cream. And so, I guess, I mean, I, we did something with him. Good, bad, happy, sad. Something happened with Bach. I mean, should we take out all of this stuff? The answer was yes. That's cool. I'm, I'm sad I didn't figure out what to do with them. Okay. I had nowhere to go. There. What's the sorcerer's crest? Celia? Yeah, we figured out Celia. If that's what you mean. Figured out her thing. Um. Oh shit, that's like a spring? Really? Hold on. I get boost you? Yeah, we figured out Celia's thing. That took a while to figure out. We did Hyetta. I figured her out. She was a pain in the ass. I figured out a lot of the side quests. Some of them I didn't. Uh, they walk. People walked me through Michaela's. Michaela? 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 I think was her name. Someone. Someone told me how to do that. I was just like, I don't know what the hell we're doing. There. They told me how to go through that. That was. I was not ever going to, like, wander back through the entirety of the game to figure out where she went and what she was up to. Apparently, she goes to, uh, Altus Plateau. I'm dropping down, huh? She goes to Altus Plateau and, like, wanders around in there.
Okay, cool. I don't know if the dash is faster. Oh god. Sure. an okay job figuring stuff out in the game. I don't think I did a amazing job. I mean, we definitely missed some things and stuff like that, but went back through and tried to figure out some of the shit that I missed. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, man. It's like you're... Oh, we do need... They designed for like the whole internet to find things together. Yeah, I would I would say that it, that it definitely feels. I think what I would like from software to do is to. It's fine when it is a that 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 kind of design for NPCs and stuff is fine in the smaller games, like the more linear versions of Dark Souls, because there's not many places people can be. In, in the big open world and not giving a clue any sort of hint as to what people are going to be doing that's bad game design and that's something that they absolutely need to change going forward they need they need a way one to like have like a journal you know how a lot of big western rpgs have journals something that gives you like footnotes or actual dialogue that you went through with characters so that you can reference back because like you you meet that that young woman i forget her name her name's L L uh lena L latina 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 the one with the wolf and she tells you to go to castle soul and she tells you you have to to go next to the great lift to go find the other part of the medallion but there's if you forgot what she said, there's no way to reference that at all. There's no way to go back and be like, oh, what did you say again? I'm sorry, I, I kind of like forgot that. There's no way to reference that again. So if, you, if you're not a streamer and you're not recording your videos, how would you ever like reference that again? It's just gone forever. That needs to change. And they need to do a little, I'm not saying handhold you, and direct you directly to where that person is, but give like an idea. So if the person, if you're talking to an NPC and they're like, all right, well, I'm gonna go out and have an adventure like Michaela did. I think her name was Michaela. Melina? I don't, the, the one-armed lady, the one-armed lady, the NPC with Gowrie. She's just like, okay, well, I'm gonna go off on an adventure. And then she just fucking disappears and she fucks off to nowhere she doesn't say anything rather than being so blatantly obtuse with that go like well i was thinking i've always wanted to explore the altus plateau and then you go okay fine at least that gives me an idea of where you are you don't have to go well i'm going to this very specific checkpoint in this area i'm going to the windmills you don't have to say that but at least give an idea of the area that idea of NPCs just fucking off to anywhere doesn't work in a big open world game. I, it's, it's totally a From Software thing. They love doing that kind of thing, but it works better in the Dark Souls when it's not as big. You can go quickly check places in Dark Souls. In 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 Elden Ring, it's it's a massive fucking world. There's no way you're fine. It's an, it's an actual needle in a haystack. And sure, there are definitely people that are gonna go search every inch of the world when stuff like that happens but it's bad game design it's it's actual bad game design it's not clever it's not cute it's it's actual bad game design and that's something that's changed over the years and they can still have an air of mystery about their npcs and stuff like that but they can also just be just a smidgen more helpful with guiding the player just a smidgen just because of how large the world is. I'm not saying tell them directly where to go and you don't have to put a marker on the map with a giant beacon coming out of it going, here, 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 and a finger that points and Navi going, hey, did you remember? You don't need that, but just some small quality of life improvements that would go a long way to just 
being kinder to the player. Maybe they could do an informal journal where they add item descriptions as you go. No, I think an actual journal would be better. Whichever side of the medallion you had at first, you get a character who said that, no, I, I think it would be better just for a straight up journal. You enjoy the mystery, just help us solo players out a tiny bit? Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that would go a very, very, very long way to helping the player. Like, I don't need my hand held the entire time. I just want a little more guidance. What do you want me to do? Gum doesn't do anything. Maybe we shoot popcorn out? I found the secret to infinite gum. Is this a secret? I, I don't think it's it's a huge complaint, but it's definitely something that is problematic in the game. How do you tell... You don't. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still had a great time playing Elden Ring, and I, I like it better than... Oh, I... Right. I still... I still like it more than the other Souls games. I think that the, the game just has some... some minor flaws to it. But no game's ever perfect. And hopefully, and if... if... From software ever deems it, they continue the series. How do I climb faster than that? Do I, I shoot the arrow on the way up? Is that it? I shoot the arrow on the way up, and then we land on it. Is that what I'm doing there? Oh, that is awkward. Okay.
Anyone else use whips? I only kind of like screwed around with them briefly. I didn't really mess with them too much. They're, they are terrible in the other Souls games. Whips are, whips are like usually just straight up awful in other Dark Souls games. So I largely ignore them. I only, I only wanted to see what they were like. They seem cool. They actually seem useful. Is cool, but no, I didn't. I'll leave best with them, but I didn't really play with too many weapons in the game as a whole. I think we, we messed with like two weapons the entire game, which is kind of why I would like to, you know, play more. I really dislike this ghost guy. Damn it, man! This thing's just tearing me a new one. So don't don't destroy the the blocks there. I was holding down and then pause and that's what is what causes that menu to pop up. Donald takes the real treasure map. The music interesting. The music is interesting. It's Sega music. Musery will be loving it. Hatching. I did not want to go back in. No one ever wants to go back in. All right. Holy crap, that is a lot of places to go. Viking ship, Egypt, Maharaja. I don't think Maharaja is a place. It's a person? All right, let's go to the Viking ship. Why not? That's a lot of places to visit. Okay, we gotta take that off. Is 
Is that? It's a bag. Shot a bomb out. What? That's death? Oh, I thought there was gonna be a secret. I like the country of Viking ship. Yeah, it's a cool country. Okay, so... I guess those platforms are dead. Not cool, not cool fun secrets. But you can go down into the hole of the Viking ship. Uh, I think if you collect a certain amount of some mystery thing. I think it was like chilies. Donald goes crazy. And he just, he goes into like invincibility mode and he just smashes everything. <laughs> okay, do they want me to fall down here? Do I go up? Up? Going to the crow's nest? I'm a crow? Oh, that goes down. I don't want to go down. Ah! Ugh! No. Bad bird. I want my money stuff. So, yeah, I think you get, you get enough... I haven't seen them in a while, but it was like you get enough peppers. Donald goes nuts. Okay. That's cool. That's also cool. Don't worry. Damn birds! Oh! Can run too. I only saw what the the temper thing did on the first level. I haven't seen it since then. Oh, this is terrible, terrible. What's the matter? It was the captain of the ship, but it's been taken over by ghosts. If you take it back for me, I can give you a Viking diary that will help you find the Great Duck treasure. Great, I'll do it. Please, go inside the ship and get rid of the ghosts. Okay. How do I go inside the ship to get rid of the ghosts? Oh, we need, like, the key to the Viking ship, don't we? Okay, so I can't do this yet. Hold your... Alright, so where do we go to next? What do you guys want? Do you guys want Egypt? Maharaja or South Pole? Where should our next destination be? It's three choices. Choose, 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 choose. Hey, that's two South Poles. Hell yeah, let's go for it. The last time you suggested something, we played Mickey Mania. <laughs> I'll set this one up. Mickey Mania is fine. Uh, playing it on easy mode is the real, is the real champion there, though. Because you get infinite continues. I just didn't have the patience to sit there and grind that out. That's a, that's a little too tedious for me. Like, even Ninja Gaiden wasn't that mean. Like, Ninja Gaiden gives you infinite continues from a level. Mickey Mania? Nah, one continue. Apparently, you can get a second continue in the in the Jack and the Beanstalk level. But that's the only place that you can get that from. Those skeleton bones in the second level are bullshit. Yeah, they, they, they explode, and then you have to run away from their bones. I agree. That is bullshit. Once you figure it out, it's not too bad. I mean, I made it 
all the way to like the fourth or fifth level without even dying once. It's just, it's one of those games that's like a trial by error game. You know, you're, you're, you're gonna, you're going to make mistakes. You are gonna fuck up. You are gonna die. It's a key frozen in ice. I had to get it out. All right, that's the key to the Viking ship, I guess. But we don't have, I guess we need fire. Okay, so cool. You and your sister could get to the ghost level pretty easily. We never beat the prince and the pauper. If if I had more continues other than one, I probably could have beat it. But the game throws at you so many enemies and you don't have enough little pellets to kill them all. So you definitely have to like platform around them. And then that tower climb. The first tower part with all the spike balls coming down with the rotating tower, that's fine. The problem is the burning tower ascension. That one sucks. All right, Egypt or Maharaja? We need fire. We could go talk to the Maharaja. I'm gonna go talk to the Maharaja. Oh, there's a chili pepper. And there's a chili pepper. We might get Donald angry here. Ah! The snake bit my dick! Stop it! Okay, fuck that guy. That's, this is what happens when Donald, uh, loses his temper right there. Yeah, I played through, uh, the great, the great circus mystery with, um, I don't know what to do about that guy. I honestly don't know what to do about those, uh, dudes. Maybe I shoot them with something other than the plunger? I don't... I don't know what just happened there. We won, though. Yeah, the, the Great Circus Mystery is pretty cool. That's a Capcom game. Wow! This is the big Maharaja's Palace. All right, I mean, we're going in. I offered you a challenge. If you can defeat the tiger in the garden, I'll reward you with this Sphinx tier. Tiger in the garden. I'm gonna fight a tiger? How do I go back through that door? You don't? That was just a big maze level. It's an interesting way to climb. Definitely an interesting way to climb. I didn't want to go through that door. What the? 
You dirty turtle. What are we doing? I went in a circle. Let's go in this one. You just gotta nail him. Sure. The six brought us back over here. Okay. You can never figure out how to get past the first stage in this game. Yeah, you gotta, like, bounce around to different levels and find the items that you need to get by this stuff. What's up, Jake? Happy Monday. How goes stuff? It's definitely got some interesting mechanics going on. Now! How did I get there? Can't complain, good to hear. I don't remember how we got over there. Read a sentence? You got it, you dirty pervert. You got it. You disgusting human. Let's see here. It was good, Kate. What was good? Was it a dinner? Was it sex? Was it both? What was good? Never know. What? Why? Okay, that was wrong. A banana sundae? I know, it could have been anything. It could have been anything. That's what you do there. Ah! Nope. Alright, let's go... Let's go to the left. There are places over here we haven't been to. Like, I don't think I've ever been in that door. Got that one, and we've got. Oh, all right, well, whatever. This one. God damn you! <laughs> Maybe I don't ever want to fight the tiger. Fight your stupid tiger. Ow. 
But I went in this one. down there and that just reset us so this door I don't think so all right I don't think I've been in this one gone down every route now? This is definitely a door we haven't been in. I just don't know which one that is. me back here. Is there something else over this way? No? Wait, if this isn't a confusing mess... Try different doors, cereal. I'm trying to try different doors. Where did this one go? This one just leads me back to this, right? So don't do that one. That's pointless. a good one uh yeah i'd like to play the re2 or the re4 remake for sure when i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna play it at release or if i'm gonna play it afterwards i'm not entirely sure no bad game But I do want to play it. Yeah, that one's just a reset. Can I keep going to the right? Oh. Okay. Oh. 
seems like a safe place to be. <laughs> Working out. I made friends with Kitty! Kitty's best friend. I do want to play it. I definitely want to play it. I liked RE4 enough that I would like to see what the remake is like. And if it's similar at all to the remake of 2 or 3, I'll be happy. I want to have I want to have a handful of new games, you know, to play this October. But we've got Callista Protocol and the Dead Space remake, so maybe we'll play the RE remake when it comes out. Maybe not immediately when he comes out when everybody's playing it, but soonish by. We'll see. We'll see. As I promised, I'll give you the Sphinx tier. Donald gets the Sphinx tier. I don't know what the Sphinx tier is, but it's probably for Egypt, right? Dead kitty, though. Right, because that's where the Sphinx is. Is, is the Sphinx in Giza? Just like the pyramids. I know it's in the general vicinity of. Choco Taco. Go, Donald. Get him. The door is closed and I can't go inside. But we can. We have the Sphinx tier. Donald used it. Huzzah. Is that a ladder or are those spikes? I'm just gonna... Uh-oh. I'm gonna go with spikes. <laughs> yep. Those were definitely spikes. Good thing we figured out the art of platforming. Alright, that's not too bad. Run, Donald! Ow. The... Uh, oh! Now that... is definitely a secret. We secreted the hell out of... Oh, God! Wonder if we climb up the left wall. Did you guys see that they said that they found like another um like chamber in the Great Pyramid? That was really cool. I don't know what it leads to, but it's a hidden chamber. Oh, they tried to get me. Yo, how lucky was that? Oh, 
okay. That's fine. I knew that was coming. Dude, that is a hell of a shortcut. The value. Oh, I thought those platforms were gonna fall. Like those. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, see? I got scared because I saw the fire. That that cost me a life. Damn. It's not like you took damage. It's you suck at video games. You've died. Game over. Damn. Yeah, you just go. You just go. Sometimes you can't hold it, and you just gotta go, man. Just go, man. some clever challenges. Wow, wow. Game done. <laughs> Got game done. Get game, son. Get game. Wonder what happens if you game over. <laughs> Is it like, you know, GG? You done done? You done got got? I don't want to get got. We're gonna get got though. I held right that time. Okay, continue. Don't stop the adventure. What? <laughs> what was that room? What? What was that room? There was some sort of code in there or something? I saw the floor tiles and they had like a bunch of different shapes to it, but like, is that supposed to mean something to me? <laughs> It, it, am I supposed to have, like, some sort of innate understanding of what that's supposed to be? I've never seen those shapes before in this game. So I could just go up and to the right here. Yeah. This is my favorite part of the game, that, that right there. Now that we know the secret, dude, that's a hell of a secret. It cuts off all that garbage to the left, and then we're just right back here. Wait, I'm not happy with what happened there, but I'll take it. Dude, to think that they wanted the jump button nowhere near the run button. They had the run and jump button on, like, the A and C. Like, what am I gonna do with that? Okay. I, I can't hit the A and C button. They're on the opposite sides of things. 
All right, so how are we supposed to figure out whatever the hell that thing is with the uh, crushing ceiling here? So, life one is game over, not zero. That's interesting. Oh, uh, here. No. Star, move. Move. What? Move. Star. Touch. Thick. What? Maybe I have to keep jumping on one of them and they'll go down low enough that I can, like, stay in there for the ceiling to go back up. It's, it's a little unintuitive. Just, just a little. Just a little. Oops. Just a smidgen. I be like that. You can't jump and grab the ladder. That's goofy. Get it? Haha. -ha. Disney joke. Only Disney fans would understand. Friends of Disney would get it. jump button. I couldn't hit the jump button more than that. In that moment, I was all jump button. I mean, I lightly tapped it, but I was all jump button. See? I was all jump button. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, this is the run room. I will choose, we'll just jump on the moon a bunch and see if that does anything. The other one doesn't look breakable. Maybe if we had like a bomb or something, but we don't. I don't think any of my weapons are gonna do anything to it. I wonder if there's something that chases you there up that wall that we have to use the plungers on. Okay, well the game doesn't seem to suggest anything. the fuck do they want me to do there? What? Is it like a key code? 
Yeah, I beat I beat the the moose challenge thing there. I did indeed. One sun, two moon, three star. Holy crap! Sun, moon, star. There we go. Sun, moon, star. We figured it out. I'm a genius. Yeah, we we beat the whole game, and I did not cheat at all. No, the entire game is bullshit. <laughs> the, the entire game is bullshit. It's just a tough game. It's one of those games where you just kind of have to... It's a trial by error kind of thing. You're going to die a lot. You're going to have to restart. What what we found out is that uh, there's, there's three settings. There's easy, normal, and hard. Normal and hard both have one continue. And easy mode has infinite continues. So probably should have played the game on baby mode. That game is just brutal and unforgiving. Probably just should have played it on that. Instead... I, mean, I got decent at it. That game's pretty damn hard. The, the final level is pretty brutal. But we got through it. Apparently there was a level select thing, so I just used the level select to, like, get through. Since the game wasn't going to be nice and give me, you know, more continues, I just I just used the level select to get through it. And we beat it that way. Like, I, I legitimately beat all the levels. It was just we used the level select to get to the, back, to the last one rather than having to, like, sit through it all again. And the final boss is cool. It's Pete. He's a bit of a challenge. I mean, the, the... Yeah, I'm definitely a cheater for sure. I for sure am. I mean, I beat the game. It's not like you got to cheat your way through the game. But... Yeah, we use we used the level select. Thank goodness that that game had that. I was gonna... I was about to rage quit. <laughs> when I die... Oh, what's the code? Uh, look. Sun, moon, star. Sun, moon, star. Okay, yeah, there, that was something I was never gonna guess. Donald got the Scepter of Ra. Not a true gamer. No, not a true gamer. I'm a dirty, I'm a dirty cheater. I'm a dirty, disgusting, foul cheater. No doubt. Oh! <laughs> they took my jump away from me there. Okay. Just gotta jump earlier. We're dead. We're we're dead. There's no way I'm beat. <laughs> I I got the reaction time of an 80 year old because I'm an 80 year old. And I do stuff like that. Oh. Oh, okay. Yay! That was the end. I'm just an idiot. Okay, so now we need to go back to the South Pole so that we can get the key. And it's kind of clever how they do this. I can use it here, shut up. Donald takes the Viking key. We just needed to be like right on it. Why is there a Viking key in the South Pole? Don't ask questions. I think that uh, the 
Mickey Mania is a visually impressive movie game. Very visually impressive. Uh, the horn. Donald used a horn. Horns are key. Turnkeys. I wish I had a way to deal with those. Rather than, you know, like, take damage. I don't know. <laughs> oh. I, I need more corn. Right, you have to use. I need corn and shit. Did I find, like, a secret way to the boss? I could get money. Stupid Viking. Ooh, chicken. Cute. What the fuck? Dude, that Pete was a god. I could go for some duck, duck, duck goose. Can I just, like, leave the room? No.
Are we winning? Winning it was tough. It was tough. I got rid of all the ghosts. I got rid of all the ghosts. Can I have the Viking diary? I'm sorry, but to tell the truth, I don't really have it. But an old legends. But an old legend says it is hidden in ice near the South Pole. Maybe this ancient Viking plunger will help you. It can be used to fly with by catching things that fly. Donald takes the green plunger. A winner is you. 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 I mean, once we figured it out, it wasn't too bad. But I got a green plunger? I can't tell the difference between red and green. <laughs> All blob dances. But what about serial dances? Hmm? 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 I have an airplane. Why do I have to catch a bird that flies? Where did you come from? Oh, I can keep going to the right? Shoot upwards? Since when can I shoot up? <laughs> what? No, this is absurd. I can't serial dance because it costs a billion of doll hairs. Oh, that's fair. Doll hairs are expensive these days. They are expensive these days. With inflation and whatnot. You have to save up many doll hairs. What am I doing? Oh, I can control it. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. That's not going to make this any easier, but I can go up and down, so that helps. That helps. up top until I can't up top anymore. Oh. I can't go left and right. I win. Alright, that's not too bad. Ooh. 
water? I like water. You can put your toes in it. You little fucker! I hate pay I hate orcas! Hate blackfish. Oh, they're evil. They're semi-intelligent or sapient. I love them, and I want to be friends. Look how evil they look, too. They got, like, red lipstick that makes them extra evil. That's not fair. <laughs> Going right and says can't go right. You can't go that way. Giving an orca a human mouth is distressing. I mean, it's kind of the way orca mouths look like. They have, they have teeth. They have teeth. But yeah, the, them having lips is not right. I tried to stop there, and instead I kept going forward. <laughs> Because ice. I don't want to uncon. I don't want to have to recontinue here. Yeah, it's not right. Maybe it's blood. Maybe it's blood that's on their on their face. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're not lips. Maybe it's the carcasses of all these Donald Ducks that keep falling into the water. Oh God. It's definitely nightmare fuel. There we go. This is just a really tight jump. Just keep holding forward. Don't let go of forward. Can't stop. Won't stop. Holding forward. Oh god, if we have a boss coming up... <laughs> Why wouldn't we? We gonna fight one of those murder orca? Oh, uh, you can't shoot down? How am I supposed to shoot then? Steve, why Walrus Steve? Oh, you can kill the Walrus? Oh. Come here. I killed Walrus Steve. With a bubble. The value that you get at this Starbucks is amazing. Speed run! Whoops. Okay, I need to stop doing that. Oh, you never have to hit down and start in a video game. You do it all the time! Oh, 
Donald takes the Viking diary. Nice. Whenever people talked about DuckTales, you thought they were talking about this game and was just thinking, uh, it was okay. Dude, DuckTales is so good. Daring, dashing, DuckTales, a uh, DuckTales. DuckTales, uh, ooh, ah. Uh, I don't, I don't remember. Du DuckTales, a uh, Yahoo, that's it. Doing stuff and all the things that happen in the DuckTales, a uh, yeah. Dashing, caring, panty wearing, DuckTales, Yahoo. You've never played DuckTales? The, um. Uh oh! Donald, if you want to save your nephews, you better give me that treasure map and diary. Um, go down, hell! Okay, I'll do it. Give me the boy. Sorry, Let's hurry back to our airplane and chase after Pete to take back the diary and map. The the DuckTales game is a ton of fun muse reel. It's on Nintendo and it's done by Capcom and it's pretty freaking fantastic. I would highly recommend it if you've never checked it out. They also remade it quite a while ago at this point, like probably like a decade ago. But that was also really cool. Okay, and by also really cool, I never played it, so I don't actually know. Ugh. But it had voice acting. They got they got a 90-year-old out of retirement to be Scrooge McDuck again. Oh! You've got to be kidding me! Okay, I, I don't I don't know how to do Scottish accents very well, but that was that was Scrooge. Got that piranha. Dude, we're in Brazil. Come to Brazil. <laughs> I knew that there were going to be snakes there. I totally knew that. How could I not know that? Everyone knows that there's snakes there. You're in Brazil. Why wouldn't there be snakes? But the, the DuckTales game's a lot of fun, and it's got really good music. Just listen to the Moon Base song and tell me you're not, like, cat jamming until 1934. Choo-choo, choo-choo, choo-choo! Choo-choo, choo-choo, choo-choo. Look at how happy the snakes are. They look like the snakes from, uh, the Jungle Book. Man, sometimes the, the game just gets, like, crazy out of sync. I never had that problem before, and now all of a sudden the game's, like, yeah, the game's getting, like, out of sync. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember what the- I remember Shere Khan. I don't remember the name of the... the snake. Uh, Shere Not Khan. Nice. Uh, okay. Sir Hiss and Robin Hood. Same thing. Right? Same thing. Robin Hood. Disney's DuckTales. Ka! Ah, very good news, real. Yes, Ka. There we go. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh. Sheer Ka. 
sheer, sheer cop. But so Pete's Pete's guys are just clones of Pete. Pete clones. The Pete gangs are just Pete clones. Makes sense. Okay, it's down. Oh, I was like, uh, am I just like blindly jumping or okay. cool. no blind jump? Got it. Ah. Uh... I don't know how to make that jump. Hmm. That is awkward as hell. We'll figure it out. Maybe I have to shoot from below. And we just jump from up top. I don't know how long our plungers will last, but... Maybe. It seemed like a pretty difficult jump to make, though. Oh. Oof. That is, that is devious. Thanks. Bronk. Oh. go this way. <laughs> All right. All right. The more you know. The more you know. Cereal, do not jump in pit. It's good advice. wrong place to go. Don't touch Donald Tookus. You see how they try to get me there? Why the Genesis music is unrivaled by any console. I mean, the Super Nintendo couldn't do this. Impossible. The the, the Master System couldn't do this. Impossible. <gasps> It just immediately killed me. <laughs> I'm bad. I was waiting. You don't wait. You gotta jump before. Alright, well, we're back here. Thank goodness. And, and the rat jam is still going. Oh, 
I wanna I wanna know who the people are that did the music for this so I can send them a nice prune cake. Get them some and some nice loose bowels. They gotta get that shit out of their system. Got him. Stool softener. It's such a dirty jump. I don't know if there's another way they want you doing that, but man, that is a that is a dirty jump. What did we die to here? Was it stupidity? I'm not going down there. stupidity. I am not gonna jump down that hole this time. We'll go down here. Okay. I guess you could have just held left there. What? Was I supposed to go in that wall there? Go, man. If you defeat me, I'll give you the map in the Viking Diary. <laughs> Good beat. Thanks. I didn't think it actually sounded that good, but I appreciate it. Pete. I can't do Donald to save my life. Okay. Probably not great to be... animator at Disney now, or was the last time you were? That's cool. That's super cool. A uh, cousin of mine. That was like her... Shit, her dream job was to get a 
job animating for like Disney and Pixar and all that. She eventually ended up working for them relatively quickly, but she did work for them. I mean, that stuff's always cool. You fucking coward. on Frozen, didn't really keep track of them after that. That's cool. suggest he's there neat. Hey, final life, one HP and a dream. Donald gets the Viking diary back. It's the ancient Viking diary. The diary reveals that the map must be dipped in water. When this is done, the location of the real treasure will appear. Let's try dipping it in water! Let's go to the Great Duck Treasure Island. Oh, the Great Duck Treasure Island? It's the same place as where we went before. It's Brazil. Come to Brazil. Hey, there's music. Instead of just noises. Ow. It's a leaf. Why wouldn't you think that it's going to fall into the ground? It's a leaf. That's what leaves do. There's no way! 
I think I needed to jump from the leaf before that. That's awkward. I got some of whatever the garbage was, though. I'm gonna hold right. Okay, I held right and I didn't go right. That was a little upsetting. I was like, I'm just gonna be holding right here because it's gonna be a trap. I held right and we didn't go right. I think maybe I needed to hop off the branch. Oh, nice. Or whenever those breaking leaves are. Always hold right. Always A B H R. Always be holding. Why are they? <laughs> I love it. It makes no sense, but I love it. Sure. It's fine. gonna not fight you yeah <laughs> okay and that seemed like the right thing to do was to uh not try to play with the giant stone, whatever the hell they are. Whoops. Yeah. Rude. So rude. Oh, double rude. It didn't go far enough either. Where's the squishy platform? Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm not gonna... That looks like if I fall down there, we're in trouble. Absolutely looks like an invisible floor. This is, um... Rude. That's rude. All right, well, we know what we're doing now. I think. Ish. Got him. Yeah, this is, this song's okay. It's better than the other jungle level.
Maybe they didn't need the little squawk squawk. Maybe they didn't need it. Squawk squawk. That was rude. It's very rude. Very rude. scared me. I thought I was dead. I like how you can freeze the enemies in different animations. That's really cute. I don't know what happened last time. That was rude. Whatever the game did was very rude. A one-up would be nice. Bird. I'm sorry, it's just one hit. Those are the squawks. Squawk! Squawk, squawk! Catch him, squawk! Yeah, maybe it doesn't need the squawk. Catch him's good without squawk. Birds hate... Birds, birds hate... Uh, cats hate birds. Birds hate cats. Two ways. More squawk? Clearly. That was definitely the problem with the lack of squawk. I don't understand what you want me to do there. Yay, for this way! Wow, that way was great! Uh-oh. Um... What am I doing? Ah! What am I doing? What? I can't go back either. What is this? There's nothing here. Uh oh. All right, well. I think I saw, like, a Yoko block thing kind of appear there when I died the first time. But it, it nothing ever appeared again. I don't know what you do there. I mean, that could be the way. Or maybe... Oh, that was dirty. Oh. 
haven't done that ever before. Not like I have room for another item either. Thinking like maybe we could use something there, but I don't think that we have anything that, you know, reveals the hidden. fight these things. Oh. <laughs> That's so much easier than trying <laughs> to avoid them. <laughs> I thought because they had the shield they were going to be much more of a pain in the ass. I can wipe my own ass! That's how we're rolling. See, when I think of Genesis music, this, this is what I think of, and I'm like, this is horrible. Like, how do people go to Genesis had great music and then this? <laughs> Were we playing the same platforms? What's up, Carbuncle? How you doing, homie? Welcome on in. Happy, uh... Happy Monday. So should I just keep going forward and avoid that? This sounds fine. <laughs> yeah. It is. This is perfectly fine. This is how all good music should sound, obviously. <laughs> this is awful. Awesome. Okay, so we did have to go up that way. That was the way that we have to go. Oh, double. Why they have double? Just finished eating? Hell yeah. Relaxing with your guinea pig. What are you doing to your guinea pig? How do you relax with the guinea pig? The final boss of Fantasy Star Force is still one of your favorite boss songs. It's a Genesis song. God. When people say, like, the Fantasy Star, especially for soundtrack, there is some, like, the battle music in that is so grating. I get it, everyone's got their own taste, but man. Oh. Oh. Nobody ever playing Crackshot had a killer soundtrack, but this is serviceable? No, this is, this is awful. This is genuinely awful. This is not serviceable. This is... This is trash. This doesn't belong anywhere in a video game. Alright, so what am I doing here? Yeah, no, there's everything wrong with this. This is horrid. This is genuinely horrid. The person that made this should have 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 been told no. This is awful. 
So what am I doing? So it's just an invisible platform? Just snuggles on your arm. Nice. Next, you're going to say Banjo-Kazooie music is bad. It's horrible. Banjo-Kazooie music. So, where, where do you, what do you want me to do? Mega Man's one thing. They at least show you the pattern where you're going. All right. Okay, we know what we need to do. We know what we need to do. That's rough. That's really rough, but at least I know what I need to do there. Like, this is okay. This here, this is fine. But that... The... The... the whatever the, the pyramid were in there, that is just... And so bad. Yeah, this is okay. It's not good, but it's okay. This is serviceable. off those is awkward. Kind of hard to describe, but it's it's very awkward. <laughs> there he is. Uh... Sometimes Donald goes all the way over, and then other times he doesn't makes me sad when he does it. It's probably what I get. It's what you deserve, cereal. Yeah. Karma. I don't I don't understand that. Just so awkward. Okay, whatever. It's fine. All right, then we got to get back to the invisible jumping area. Most of this isn't too bad. It's fine. Genesis base and Earthworm Jim is good. Yeah, I'll be... I'll be honest, I definitely prefer the, um... The Super Nintendo soundtrack to Earthworm Jim, but I don't mind the Genesis one. The the Sega CD Earthworm Jim? That shit's money. That shit is money. That shit's got it going on. The Genesis one isn't bad. I'm sorry. Whoops. You know what it, you know what the music kind of reminds me of is uh like a Sierra adventure game. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Like a early like SVGA adventure game. <laughs> Where they had like two channels that they could choose from for music. Wow, wow. <laughs> you have a bunch of Sega CD games? I have a few. I don't have a bunch, I have a few. Sega CD was one of those systems that had, you know, like, you're like, okay, well...
This is... Okay. I, I didn't learn anything there. <laughs> I didn't see the other platform. I don't know uh, where that was. I'm not quite sure where we go from there. Maybe back to the left? Maybe? I mean, the best part of the Sega CD was hands down the fact that it could have, you know, better quality music and voice acting. Oh boy, that voice acting. There's, there's nothing quite like... It had so many of those FMV games. There we go. So many of those FMV games. I had a bunch of FMV games. Sewer Shark is atrocious. <laughs> that game is atrocious. I don't know. I paid like five dollars for it when I got it because it was on clicks from KB Toy Store. Remember being very annoyed at this part? It's just because there's like zero indication of what you're supposed to be doing there. In Mega Man, you know, they, they show you what you're supposed to be doing because the Yoko blocks appear and disappear, but you're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you, you get to see a pattern. In this, there's there's nothing indicating anything. I don't know how to... I don't know how to deal with it. Maybe it was like 150 bucks when the Sega CD came out? I honestly don't know. I did, I did, mine was new, but I, uh, didn't pay full price for sure. Sega CD and 32X went on clearance pretty damn quickly. Though their games, some of those games were, were pretty much, like, always expensive. Like, the RPGs on it were always expensive. Like, they and... Lunar, Lunar Silver Star and Eternal Blue. Uh, there was like a, I think there was like a wizard one too. Pop Full Male. I've got, I've got both Lunar games and Pop Full Male. Like if it was working designs, I was buying it. I knew I was going to get my, my weeby Japanese on. Lunar's good? It's okay. It's okay. The, uh... The PlayStation remasters are way better. Where do I go, game? Am I just max jumping to the right? Yep. Okay, that guy is a goddamn. Crap, that is awkward.
<laughs> yeah, so that's that's what's doing damage is hitting them. See? We won. Finally, someone who is worthy of the treasure. Oh, was that the final boss? The treasure's a sexy lady? Oh my god. Oh my gosh! It is just a plain stone figurine of a duck princess. <laughs> Donald, it's nice to see you. Where's my present? This This is it. The great duck treasure of King Garuzia. This is my present? Is that all? I know I can't do Donald. <laughs> A gold and jewel necklace? Thank you, Donald. Dude, we cracked it open because our nephews are incompetent. So, he sounds like Ulo. I liked it. I liked it. The music's horrible, but the game's a lot of fun. The game's a lot of fun. That was really fun. It's it's a little convoluted, right? So, but it's clever. So, you've got, you start out with, like, your choice of three levels. And you have to go to, like, the three level. You have to go to the first two to be able to access the third one. So you get all the way and then it's like dead end and the game kind of kicks you out. But they don't tell you what to do, so it's a little confusing. So you get all the way to the end and they're like, oh, you need to be able to climb this. And you go, okay, what the fuck? There's a flag here and we got a checkpoint. Now what do I do? You go to the, you go to the flag, you call in your plane, it come picks you up, and then you go to the next level. The game controls perfectly fine. It's a little slippery. But that's okay. That's that's not that's not super problematic. I like the way the levels look for a game that came out in like '91 or something like that. It's not the, the the pixel art looks really nice. You know, Donald looks like Donald. You know, they're they're, they're detailed enough that they look like their characters. The the level designs are cool. There's shortcuts and stuff through them. There's little hidden secrets and stuff. The one I wasn't the biggest fan of was like that maze level because it's just a ton of trial and error. It's like, it's pick a door in Mario Maker, you know? You're just choosing random doors and hoping that, you know, you don't have to repeat the pattern over and over again. We eventually figured it out, but that was a little annoying. Uh, It's got a story. You know, a lot of games for this era tend to just kind of like gloss over that, especially like the platformer stuff. There's actually, you know, a little bit of story going along. It's cute, you know, and it takes place in the DuckTales universe. You know, you've got Scrooge McDuck, Donald, Huey, Dewey and Louie. That's really cool. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Is it the greatest thing in the world? No, but it's a lot of fun and it's not too, it's not too tough. It's got, it's got a couple of moments that are a little awkward, like that, like, the, like those invisible blocks at the end. I was saying, you know, in Mega Man, you've got the Yoko blocks, but they show you where you have to jump. That one is just completely blind jumps, and that's not good. That's not good for anyone. That's not good for anyone. I can't say I'm a fan of that. But it's a cool guy. All right, 1991. And this was the Walt Disney Company, so this was one of their direct games from Disney. It's not bad. It's not bad, and it looks decent. It's just, maybe the music is... I, I just... I'm a big stickler. Most of it's serviceable, as Teak like to put it there. Serviceable. There's just some stuff that's just absolutely awful. The, um... That first jungle level, when you go to whatever the, the jungle level is. Oh, I don't know if that's supposed to be Brazil or whatever, but... Oh, it was, that was not cool. That was not cool. And that, that, uh, that temple music. Just wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan. I did not like it. But there are some cool moments. You get upgrades, you know, you get items. 
uh, you eventually, you know, you get to, like, hang on the, the, the bird and, like, do some, I don't know, flight thing? That was cool. It's cool. It's a cute gig. It's it's not too bad. It, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. For what it is, I enjoyed it.